Hi again, everybody. I'm Smart Ed. It's time for another Smart Ed TV top tip, and we have one of our Smart Certified Field Training Specialists. What? I know you. <laughs> Do you? This is Erica Klopp. <laughs> <That's> my <laughs> wife. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Anyhow, Great. Uh, so you're here to talk about the table tool and cell shading. I think yes. we gave you this one because it's a tongue twister. Oh, great. All right, so uh, let's, so we're going to slide a desktop yeah. down there. We're going to put a desktop up there and uh, show us some right. cell shading. Well, of course, let's start by adding a new page. So I'll go to my notebook toolbar, press my green add a page. And I will then select my table tool icon in my notebook toolbar. Selecting how many uh, cells that I want in my table, and I can, again, of course, make it or big or small as I so choose. So I'm like, oh, that's a pretty good size table. So go ahead, lift my finger, and here is my table. Now, I want to move my table up into my notebook work area because it's a little low. So I'll go ahead, and because my table is selected, I will choose the gray square in the upper left-hand corner and go ahead and pull it up. Now, if I want the entire table to be shaded, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and select the table and choose my gray drop-down box in my upper right-hand corner, choose it down, and I have the opportunity to add a table shade. So now my table is shaded, and if I had information in my table, I can go ahead and take out those cells, and I can reveal information. So I can reveal information that the students are learning. So let's, let's remove each of these, and uh, my question as we switch the images okay. is, uh, what if I only want the lower two ro rows to have table shades? I you, don't want to... you definitely can. As a matter of fact, let's even pretend that I might have information in uh, my far left column and in my far top rows. So what I'm going to do is I will say, you know what, I'm going to select the cells I want to be shaded. Mm -hmm. I'll use my right click in my pen tray. And then I'll just tap onto the cells that I want to be shaded one more time. And in my menu now I have the opportunity to add a cell shade. When I select that, it just indeed adds the shades to the cells that I have selected. So that's a quicker way than putting all the shades on and then removing just the ones you didn't want. I think it is. Okay, it's so a, it's a, little a really, time saver there. A little time saver. That's what we're all about. Line, bottom line is there's two different ways or two different options for options. adding uh, table it's, shades. It's all about options. Or cell shades. Cell shades on all the table. All about options. All about options. All right. Well, okay. uh, very good. Well, thank you. Okay. All right. What's, what, what, what are you making for dinner? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll make reservations. Mom. All right. That's it for today's top tip. I'm Smart Ed. We'll see you again soon here on Smart Ed TV.